Hello again, my fellow Jetty users. Welcome back to my workshop for another of Harry's Jetty Clinic videos. And in this one, I'm responding to a request for an extra, extra safe throttle cut. What do we mean? Well, uh, you'll find a video somewhere on my channel about the extra safe throttle cut in which uh, when you move the throttle cut switch to the motor run position, uh, the motor still won't run until you've brought the throttle stick itself right the way back to the off position and it stops it bursting into life. And I had a request uh, on my YouTube video. Could I make one that uh, would work in this manner? When he lands his electric model, if he has to do a very rapid change of the battery, which of course through the um, regulator runs the radio, and forgets to move the throttle cut switch, I'm using this one here, is my throttle cut, forgets to move that back to the motor off position and the throttle is still at some on position or gets nudged there whilst he's changing the battery and picking up the transmitter, um, it prevents the bat uh, motor from running uh, because of course uh, your extra safe throttle cut wouldn't have been activated because you've left the, the switch in the run position. Now, uh, I think most speed controllers would pr um, prevent this from happening anyway, uh, because a lot of them have software that says, when the battery's plugged in, do not arm up and start running the motor until the throttle has been brought back to the previously set off position. Uh, and so this would protect against it. But not all of them do. Uh, and even those that do might develop a fault and the last thing you need is the thing bursting into life. You could say, well, when you disconnect the battery, you're going to be getting a message saying uh, signal lost, signal lost. Shouldn't that be a trigger to move the throttle cut switch to the off position? Well, yes, it should, but we all know what things are like in the heat of the moment when you're in a hurry to do things. So can we build in this extra safety? Yes, we can. Let's have a look at how. So the standard throttle cut switch works like this. Uh, well, the extra safe version. Throttle cut is in the throttle cut position. So motor is off. The throttle stick here, I need to grow my third hand again, is part way open. There's the throttle servo at the idle position, or throttle cut position anyway, motor off. We'll switch it on, and the throttle will not move. Okay, what I need to do now is bring that throttle stick all the way back to idle, or motor off. Now it engages. So you brought the stick all the way back, and now the throttle will work. Lovely. So it prevents it bursting into life as you move your throttle cut switch to the motor run position. How can we protect this in addition to having the battery disconnected? Well, we need to create a telemetry control. So we go into advanced properties and come down to telemetry controls. And having labeled it, I'll label it Q because I'm going to run it off the Q value that the receiver sends back, so we've enabled it. Type of control is a switch. The condition will be x equals zero. In other words, when the Q goes to zero, this telemetry control will switch on. It'll be switched off in any other condition. Even if Q is 1%, it'll still be switched off. But when Q, the thing we're measuring, x equals zero, this will switch on. We also have to uh, set up um, a little duration I've given it just to prevent a tiny momentary uh, telemetry dropout. So it's going to have to be on for half a second and then this will trigger. We also need to set a default um, because at the same time Q is zero, telemetry will have dropped out. And the default tells the switch what to do when it's not receiving telemetry. So it may actually be this that's doing the job rather than the Q equals zero but it works out to the same thing. So what we're saying is that when the telemetry is zero, the default position of the switch will be 100%. That is, it switches on, uh, which is what we're asking it to do when Q equals zero anyway. This little number in brackets is telling you what it's doing at the moment. 
uh, at the moment, the switch is at the minus 100% position, which is off. So what I will do is just remove the battery from the receiver. Telemetry will drop out, and therefore it will take the default position, which is 100%, not minus 100. So pulling the battery now, there we signal go. Signal lost. See on signal loss. Signal lost. The switch has now gone signal on lost. because of that and because signal of that. Signal lost. So which is actually doing signal the job lost. doesn't really matter. I'll plug the battery signal back lost. in. Signal lost. And you see the output of the switch itself has gone back to minus 100. It's gone off because Q uh, no longer equals zero and telemetry is on, so the, the default value no longer applies. OK. And now we can add that into logical switches. So there's T1 and T2 are the normal two switches that we create for the extra safe throttle cut. And you would normally assign this one here, in this case logic switch 2, reversed as your throttle cut switch. In this case, we're going to build a couple of extra switches. First of all, uh, T3 will be this telemetry control that we've already created. There it is. So we just go in, select your telemetry control, and that's it. I'll show you how to do it, clear it out. So having select input control, come down here, telemetry control, there's the one we created, in you go, lovely, job done. It's switched off at the moment because the receiver is running quite happily. Q is above zero, telemetry is running, fine. Control two is going to be your throttle lock switch in the run position, okay? And then the important thing here, the condition is A on, B off. That one there. So you scroll through your menus from the AND, OR, MULTI, EXCLUSIVE OR, A ON, B OFF. So when Q is zero or telemetry disappears, the telemetry control will switch on and it will therefore switch on this output. And then B, the throttle lock switch, when it's moved, so will switch it off, as you can see. So. Uh, let's do this. I will disconnect the battery and you will see, therefore, the telemetry control switches on. The telemetry control is A. The condition is A on, B off. So now, when I disconnect the battery, A goes on, so the output goes on. Signal lost. There we go. Signal lost. Remember, I built in a half second gap. Signal lost. Um, just Signal to stop lost. It. I shall... Restore the battery. OK, now, B, in the run position, can switch it off. But it won't take it just because B is in the run position. It has to be moved into the run position. So we have to cycle it. And as I move it to the run position, B goes on, and therefore the output goes off. Okey doke. Lovely. That's where we're going. And finally, logic uh, switch 4 will take the standard throttle cut output, uh, there was the extra safe throttle cut output, the logic switch we've just created, but reversed, and add them together. So there we go. Control 1 is logic switch 2, straightforward. Control 2 is this new logic switch we've just created, but reversed. Yeah, so it, instead of an A on, B off, in effect, it makes it an A off, B on switch. OK, say OK to that. The condition is AND. Say OK. OK to that. Come up to your other model options. Into your throttle cut. And assign that new logic switch, but reversed, as you would have done with the standard extra safe throttle cut. So there we go. Let's have a look at, in reality, at what happens. Um, right. Let's assume at the start of the day, we'll disconnect that. Here we go. Right. Let's prove it all works properly. We'll switch it on. And we've left the throttle switch in the run position. No throttle lock. Throttle partially open. Let's plug in the power. A 
Okay, we go. So, does our throttle respond to the stick? No, it does not. We'll leave the stick somewhere other than the run condition. Switch that off, switch it back on. Still no response to the throttle until we get the stick all the way back. And now it responds. So, the standard extra safe throttle cut is still working. Yeah? Now, let's assume, uh, as per the request, we've landed our electric model. We've forgotten to switch the throttle cut switch to the cut position. So it is still working. Yeah? And we change the battery on our electric model. So... Signal lost. The radio goes Signal off. Signal lost. Now... Signal lost. The radio goes back on. Signal lost. If I can one-handedly plug lost. it back in. There we go. Signal lost. Okay. And look at that. There is the throttle servo or speed controller. Of course, the stick is at zero. But it's not working, even though we left it in a running condition. Yeah. So, let's put the throttle part way up. Come over here. Cycle the switch. To the run position still no throttle because the extra safe throttle cut has now done its job and there we are okie doke let's try that again we've landed it's all in the run condition we change the the radio battery we signal lost accidentally nudge signal the throttle lost. stick up signal lost connect a new battery signal lost signal lost even though it was left in the run condition with the throttle stick up it has gone back to motor off see nothing even if i bring the stick all the way back with the switch in the run condition it still won't work we have to cycle the switch and now it will work there is one state in which you can override all the safety and it's this. So you've landed, left it in the motor run condition, okay, taken off your battery, and then for some Signal reason lost. you go and cycle lost. the motor run switch, lost. manage to Signal open lost. the throttle, and Signal then lost. reconnect it. Signal lost. Signal lost. See? It zooms up to power. But to be honest, if in the process of changing your battery, you've managed to cycle the uh, the motor cut switch to the off position, back to the on position, and open your throttle. Um, maybe the hobby isn't for you. Okay, so there we go. Uh, an extra bit of super safety on the throttle cut, should you need it for rapid battery changes uh, on your electric model.